Hello everyone, today we are simply out for a dog walk around Edinburgh. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there. Yeah, I don't have anything planned today. As with all the videos uh, over recent weeks where I've been out and about, it's only been when I've been out doing my exercise for the day or if I've had, um, what do you call it, um, something essential I've needed to do. Today it's a dog walk. It's my exercise for today and Merlin's with me. There he is. There he is. Merlin's with me today. Um, normally I would have Neville with me as well, but unfortunately Neville uh, had a seizure earlier on in the week, which gave us a bit of a fright. He's never had it before, so no long dog walks for him right now. Just quite short ones. Um, I also have a couple of essential things to do, so I just thought I'd bring the camera with me and we'll just go for a walk, because uh, Scottish Covid rules state right now that you are allowed to go out for essential work or um, exercise and of course exercise the dog is exercise for him as well so that's all we're doing today so yeah we're just going to take a walk around central edinburgh staying fairly local and uh, yeah and let merlin lead the way maybe let merlin take us for a walk that's what we'll do he can lead the way started us on Rose Street. Well, actually I've started us on Rose Street, but let's see where he wants to go. Come on pal, you're in charge. You're in charge. Okay, so we're coming up to Rose Street, Castle Street right now. He's very excited. Okay, where do you want to go pal? Oh, we're going down this way. We're going down Castle Street towards Princess Street. And the castle's just there as always. It's not as if they're going to move it. He's very excited right now. He's not usually this excited for a walk. I think it's possibly because it's him on his own. Normally there would be him and Neville when we go out for a walk. Um, so the two of them kind of just sort of you know, keep each other calm. But since it's just me and him, he's just a little bit excited. Plus there is a, a shop alarm going off, so I don't know if they maybe he's not keen on that. But, David Prince's Street. Where do you want to go, pal? Left or right? What way? What you check? You decide. You decide. If you don't decide, I will. You're pointing this way, so I'm going to go this way then. Okay, we're walking along Prince's Street. I think I had to help him with the decision there. He couldn't decide. What is that alarm? Okay, so Merlin's decided we're taking a walk right now. No, no, no. Stay away from the road, pal. From west uh, side of Prince's Street heading towards the east side. He's quite happy leading the way here. Looks like it. Okay, we'll cross over to the other side of Princess Street. See, now, he's not stupid. This is a big bit of green, and he knows that he normally gets to chase his ball on the grass, but you're not going to get to do it here because you can't come off your lead, pal. I think he's just wanted to show you the views today. This actually makes a nice change because, you know, whenever I've done something like this before, it's been in the car. Um, and I've done the route, but since this is just our exercise, I've let, let Merlin be in charge and, and he'll give you a great route to travel round town. Um, so, just to, in case you follow on a map, we started at uh, the west end of Rose Street, came down Castle Street, went one block along Princess Street, um, then came into Princess Street Gardens. And now we came from Prince Street Gardens and we've doubled back on ourselves. We've went back the route we originally started and we're heading towards the Ross Fountain. Yeah, is that where you want to go? Yeah, okay. Ross Fountain looking lovely. Ever since they've done it up, it, it's really made a difference to the to the area here. I did do the history of the Ross Fountain a while ago. Um, if you haven't seen it, I will leave a link 
to the description, the link in the description and in the corner so you can watch the history or listen to the history, one of the two. Where do you want to go now, pal? You're in charge. You're in charge. Come on. I think you're just enjoying um, the area right now. Oh, okay, shaky, shaky. You can see as well, um, everyone's being safe. Lots of people out just enjoying um, a little bit of a warmer weather. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago here in Scotland, we were inundated with snow. Um, and now it's, it's calmed down a little bit. The weather's heated up a little bit. Um, so it's nice. Next up, apparently, St Cuthbert's Kirkyard Heat is properly excited to go in here. It is incredible to think that you would have a big graveyard like this right underneath Edinburgh Castle, right beside right beside Princess Street, right beside the Grass Market looks like we're, we're heading out of here though. What way are we going pal? You, you, you've only got one way, isn't it? Okay, yep, definitely going this way. Looks like Merlin is now taking us towards the Grass Market. <laughs> what do you want in your ball? It's got balls that he loves. big rubbery ball and it just makes him happy. So he's taken us down here. This is um, Castle Terrace Cart Park which was where uh, the scene in Trainspotting 2 was filmed. You know the, the fight between Renton and Begbie um, was in there when, when Begbie comes across Renton. They ran out here and, and this is where He's on the hood of the car with his, with, with or the roof of the car with, uh, he's bleeding. Um, Edinburgh Castle view here, right at uh, Castle Terrace car park. And there's this bit here, I'm going to try to hold my hand as steady as possible. I've never actually noticed it before. It's going to be difficult because Merlin is, is wanting to, to walk. But stay there for a second, pal. Does that not just grab your attention? I wish I could make out what it says there. That looks like there's writing above there, but does that not look like it's like a escape hatch or something? Okay, I think that's the best I'm gonna get. I've got a wall. I've got a wall. So let's see. Uh, John Graham of Clavermouth, Viscount Dundee. Uh, I can't, I've only got a small screen in front of me, so it's difficult for me to make all of that out. You guys might be able to read that a better. Coverage of Edinburgh Castle I can make out there. That's a funny plaque to have. Halfway up a mount, <laughs> halfway up a volcano. How cool is that? How absolutely, I was so really hoping it was going to say secret tunnel. It's not very secret, you can see it. Here we go, see if Merlin hadn't brought us this way. I might never have noticed that. I definitely might never have zoomed in with the camera since he was having a sniff about that area. Look at that, that's score one for Merlin there. We've got <laughs> this is quite fun, actually, letting him pick the route. It's quite interesting to see where his nose has taken us. But like I said, he's out had us from Princess Street, through the Kirkyard, down King Stables Road, heading towards the grass market. Just as we're on King Stable Road, let's take another look up at this side of the castle. You see all these little windows sort of in that in the centre of the shop there, around about there. I've always figured that there must be more escape routes from the castle. Is that another one there? Is that another one there? Like that gate we found on the other side a minute ago. Let me zoom in. Merlin, please stay still. Is that on? Is it, that is camera shaking is Merlin panting and shaking the lead and then shaking my hand. That looks like another escape tunnel, doesn't it? Because you can't tell me that a castle whose oldest part is almost a thousand years old doesn't have loads of escape tunnels in it.
refreshed, a nice drink of water as we continue our wee walk along uh, Grass Market here. It's definitely not quiet, lots of people out exercising. Just while we're here, let's show you this on the ground. The last person to be hanged from the Grass Market gallows was James Andrews on the 4th of February 1784. And that would have been right here. That's what that is, that's where the gallows stood. That's why that is there. This is like Merlin's history tours, really, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like Merlin, are we heading this way, this is where we're going? Is wanting to go up Victoria Street, I have to say. For a dog, he's, <laughs> he's being quite touristy. He's very excited to be going up Victoria Street. I've no, never noticed this blue plaque over here. And I am quite interested to see what it says. Founded in 1873, Robert Cresser's brush shop occupied number 40 for 131 years. Harry Potter fans believe this magical street gave J.K. Rowling the vision for Diagon Alley, with original Victorian fixtures full of dusty boxes and broomsticks. Was this little shop the inspiration for Ollivanders? Uh, the work at the top of the, the uh, Victoria Street here is the New Virgin Hotel and Merlin has been very fascinated by what is going on here you can't go in there but you don't have a hard hat okay we came to the top Merlin are we going left towards the Royal Mile or are we going right towards um, Greyfriars and Chamber Street you need to decide <laughs> yep definitely wants to go this way so this is us heading um, down towards Greyfriars Kirkyard. Bobby was a Sky Terrier and Merlin's a Cairn Terrier, but still. So just while we're on George IV Bridge, uh, just stopped here to give you a quick look over the bridge here. That's the Grass Market, that's the Cowgate right here, and that's the other side of the Virgin Hotel that I was just saying about. They stopped working there for a long time because just underneath the ground there, um, they discovered apparently some quite interesting archaeological things. I'm not sure what, but yeah, they stopped digging for a while so that that could all be checked out and find out what it was. A lot of you know, if you've watched for a while, I like my old signs that I discover around town, and here's one here on the side of this doorway. They've obviously kept it safe, they've not painted over it, but it's difficult to make out ancient order of foresters. There's a couple of right in there. Core of... Midlothian. Protestant Institute of Scotland. Scottish Reformation. See, that's that. Something Women's Union. I love that. I love, love, love stuff like that. There is Greyfriars Bobby there, but Merlin seems to be pulling me to the left. So we're going to cross over and head down Chamber Street here. Okay, here we are on the cow gate now. Merl is looking a little bit, I think he's getting tired. And I think he's starting to take us uh, towards home. Apparently, we are now going up Blair Street. Now Blair Street will take us from the cow gate to the Tron Kirk, up to the Royal Mile. I definitely think Merlin is thinking about taking us home now. I think he's getting tired. So here we are. This is now Hunter Square, this little area here. Tron Kirk on my right hand side there. As we hit the Royal Mile, I've got a funny feeling he's going to want to go down Coburn Street and head home. Little look up the Royal Mile, you can see lots of people again out, people getting a wee Starbucks. Yeah, he's definitely, <laughs> he's tired. God, pal, come on then. Sorry, I've just nipped into Scran on uh, Coburn Street. Because obviously there's lots of everywhere is allowed to be open for a takeaway. You're allowed to be out and about walking, getting a bit of exercise. 
So since I was out for a healthy walk, I nipped into Scran, was behind me there, um, takeaway only. I got this bad boy. Look at this. Maltese or milkshake. Nice and healthy. I know this is supposed to be, you know, out exercise and staying healthy, but this, this is so good. If you get the chance, you get the head in the Scran Bistro and Cobra Street and try this. Not a sponsor, just bought it and it is delicious. However, it is difficult to eat it when I've got the camera on one hand, the milkshake in the other, and the lead is on the hand with the milkshake, so whenever I try to take a drink, Merle is pulling away. I think he, he wants me to stay healthy. Whilst we're here, we can't not look at the incredible steps here on Warriston Close. Look at that. I used to have a friend who used to run up and down them as an exercise just to stay fit. No, thank you. No, thank you. He's definitely starting to take us home now. We're on to Waverley Bridge, Prince's Street, just there, uh, Scott Monument, and of course, Lamar Hotel. And then that's the way we came, just behind us. Coburn Street, uh, Market Street there, Edinburgh Dungeons just there. He's, he has kept us fairly touristy, but I suppose he'll walk around areas he kind of knows as well. He is itching to get home now. Aren't you, pal? Merlin, you've done well though, thank you for taking us around. I think we will probably leave it there. I know that Merlin has taken us almost full circle at the other end of Prince's Street to where we started, but He's taking us on a nice little little walk around. I hope you've enjoyed that today. Ta a, a route decided by Merlin. I think we'll do that again sometime. We'll see where else will take us. Um, if you haven't already, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, um, and leave a comment as well. Let us know if you would like Merlin to take us round about again. Tell you the truth, going at his pace and, and where he stops and sniffs, spotting things that I hadn't really looked at before, like that gate on in plaque halfway up Castle Rock. That was incredible. But anyway, keep yourself safe out there. Till next time. Bye humans.